when will you finally, finally be able to get a new graphics card? And also, it looks like Intel's new 11th gen Rocket Lake CPUs got a confirmed release date. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So obviously the RTX 30 series, the RX 6000 series, and even the Ryzen 5000 CPUs from AMD have been extremely difficult to get. And you know, this is due to a number of different factors, but I think the first reason that this occurred was simply because there's an extremely high demand, a whole lot more than usual, and there just simply wasn't enough supply to go around. Now, a lot of this is due to this crazy pandemic that's been going on because a lot of manufacturers just can't get all the parts they need to create the products that we so desperately want. So that was the first thing that went wrong wrong that created a huge amount of demand, not enough supply, and we just can't get the cards that we want. And to make things worse, because of this huge amount of demand and not enough supply, there's something that happened that has never happened before, and that's the extreme amount of scalping that occurred shortly after the release, especially of the RTX 30 series, because, you know, if you go on eBay to this day, you can find RTX 3080 type of video cards going for well over a thousand US dollars, and people are unfortunately paying for them, which, of course, is going to lead to to more and more people trying to buy stock to resell it online. So that was the second problem of this whole issue of it being incredibly difficult to get the video card in the CPUs that you need. And then the third thing that happened is that because we're in a trade war with China, there's been tariffs that have been put in place that have caused an increase in price. And even recently, you'll see that Asus made an official statement that said that, which by the way, there will be links to all my sources in the description below. But in their statement, they said that they will be increasing the prices of, I believe, all of their GPUs and mother boards. So that means that there's going to be an increase in price coming on top of everything else. Now, the fourth issue is that apparently, according to Brian from Tech yes City, which by the way, you should go ahead and watch his whole video. He seems to believe that there's been a huge increase in mining due to the profitability of Ethereum getting much, much better. And, you know, a lot of reasons can contribute to this factor. But I think one of the main reasons as to why, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum are going up in price is because if you take a look at this whole pandemic situation, it's caused an issue where because we're giving out money to people. Well, it's actually causing them to print money that doesn't really exist. And when you do that, it eventually is likely to devalue that dollar. So the US and the European dollars are just simply likely going to decrease in their value. And a lot of people with a lot of money are looking at this. And what I believe is happening is that they're looking into other places that they can put their money that are less likely to devalue in the future. Now, they may be right, they may be wrong, but it seems like a lot of people are going to be putting their money into things such as Bitcoin because because they believe that that's going to be a more stable currency. Now, again, they could be right, they could be wrong. I personally think that Bitcoin isn't a very stable currency, but a lot of people have a lot of faith in it. So that may be one of the contributing factors as to why the whole Bitcoin thing is starting to blow up again, because as Bitcoin and things like Ethereum that are mineable with GPUs start to go up in value, it becomes you know a lot more profitable for you to mine that type of currency. So what a lot of those people are doing is they're going out and they're buying pallets and pallets of GPUs and they're creating what are called mining farms and of course since they're buying all the gpus now that just only contributes to the factor of it being incredibly difficult once again to especially get gpus but honestly any type of pc hardware whatsoever because they're going to also need motherboards they're also going to need cpus now they're not going to need a 16 core processor which may lead to these very high-end cpus coming in stock you know sooner than say the gpus which i'll touch on in a minute here but you know overall it's just going to make the whole situation a whole lot worse and to make things even worse, the Chinese New Year is coming up on, I believe, February 12th. So we're not too far away from the Chinese New Year. And the reason why that's important is because a lot of the stuff that's being manufactured is being manufactured in China, a lot of this technology stuff. So when these people go off to, for a holiday during the Chinese New Year, you can expect that that's going to cause further delays in shipping if they're already strapped in terms of production. So yeah, these five factors are going to make getting stock incredibly difficult and possibly even more difficult going forward into the next couple of months. Now, I, you're probably wondering, okay, that's that's well and good. We know why all this is happening now, but when can we expect stock to start showing up? So I can't for sure tell you 100% when you'll be able to buy an RTX 3080. Now, one thing I can tell you is if you want one right now, the best thing you can do is go ahead and follow things on Twitter and on Discord, such as the uh, RTX bot, the stock drop spot, and that'll give you a leg up over a lot of other people where you'll get notifications on your phone if you do set it up to do that. And so that the 
second something comes in, you do have a chance to get it. I was able to get both um, two RTX 3070s, one for me and one for my friend. He wanted one as well, and that was the only one who was able to get them. So that was how I was able to do it. But you know, if you want to be able to just go online and buy a GPU whenever you want, again, I can't tell you for sure 100% when that's going to happen. But assuming that the mining boom does not last forever, and assuming that eventually this stock and the manufacturing catches up, I would be saying that it's going to be at least another two, maybe even three months at the very earliest before you have a good chance of getting a new GPU. Now, in terms of the CPUs, I think that that's going to clear up much, much quicker because, frankly, there's going to be a lot less people purchasing CPUs. I think uh, the big rush is probably over in terms of the CPU purchasing, though I could be wrong. So I would expect within the next one to two months that hopefully if you want a 5800X or you want a 5600X, and if you want an Intel CPU, you can actually get them right now. But you know, hopefully all of those mainstream CPUs, you should be able to get your hands on the 5900X and 5950X. They just simply aren't going to be um, that easy to get probably for a, uh, a little while here yet. We're probably looking again, probably at least two to three months before those things start to become um, showing up in stock more regularly, you know, getting more than 10 seconds to get them. Um, but again, I believe that CPUs will come in stock much, much quicker. But, you know, things could actually turn out even worse. And we could be looking at a situation where basically the RTX 30 series, especially in the RX 6000 series, may be extremely difficult to get throughout their entire lifespan. I mean, we could be looking at over a year since the RTX 3080 launch before it actually becomes easy to purchase, at which point you're probably looking at only, you know, six months or maybe even eight months until the new GPUs come out. Because, you know, originally I was thinking the RTX 40 series would probably launch in about 14 months. They might try and cut it short. But considering their, you know, inability to meet demand on the RTX 30 series, I don't see any reason for them to do that unless AMD pushes them. I don't think AMD is going to do that. So, yeah, it's going to be a little while until you can get a video card. In a worst case scenario, it could end up being a full a whole entire year after the launch of the RTX 3080. But I'm going to leave you with a little bit of good news on this subject. And that's that um, if you take a look at the NVIDIA cards, you know, NVIDIA just signed a deal not too long ago with Samsung where they supposedly are going to be producing, I, I think it was two times the amount of eight nanometer wafers for them. So assuming that they're able to get all the other components that they need, I think you're going to have a much easier time of getting RTX 30 series cards, hopefully here in the next, you know, again, one to two, maybe two to three months here, it should get a little bit better. I know that's a long time, but again, like I mentioned earlier, your best option, if you're not willing to wait is follow a bot and just try and be as quick as you can, because pretty much any way you slice it, the next one to two months are going to be incredibly difficult to get any card that's under a thousand dollars. That's just the way it's going to be. I, I wish it was going to be easier, but you know, it looks like that's probably going to be the way it is. You know, looking at AMD, I think that they might come in stock a little bit sooner because I believe these AMD cards probably aren't as good at mining. So I, there's going to be less incentive for miners to buy them unless mining really takes off, at which point every GPU is going to be hard to get. But I, I hopefully that's not the case. If mining stays how it is or even starts to drop off, then I would expect to be able to get RX 6000 series cards sooner. So maybe if you're an NVIDIA user, you might want to start looking at AMD cards because those might actually start to come in stock a little bit more frequently over the next one to two months. So hopefully within two months, you'll be able to get something that you want. You might be looking at 3080 and you might have to get a 6800 XT instead. You might be looking at a 5900X and be able to get a 5800X instead. Those do seem to be coming in stock a lot more frequently. But you know, either way, it's going to be a little bit before you can get something. You just have a little bit of patience. But I have confidence that the mining boom is going to come to an end. You're eventually going to be able to get the stock you want. You're not going to have to wait too long. I'm pretty sure that this stuff is all going to clear up. So just have a little bit of patience and hopefully eventually you will be able to get the GPU or the CPU that you want. But there's one more thing I want to leave you with before I end this video. And that's apparently that the 11th gen processors from Intel just got leaked by Gigabyte. So over on videocards.com, they had a press release where apparently Gigabyte had this to say, quote, the latest 11th gen Intel core processors will be launched on March 2021. The new processors keep the same architecture as the previous generation, but they enable PCIe 4 support. Now, I think what they said about the architecture actually isn't going to be correct. I do believe we're going to be seeing an IPC jump from this generation of processors. But again, the interesting thing here is they pretty much just leaked the full release date, March 2021, and that's not too far away. So, hey, this is good news for the, those of you who are looking for the fastest gaming processor on the market, because I'm pretty sure that when these Intel processors launch, they will retake that crown. So maybe if you're looking at a 5800, X right now or 5900X and you're having trouble getting one. Well, Intel CPUs do seem to be a lot more in stock recently. So hopefully when those launch, you'll have an even better chance of getting what you want.
But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about the whole GPU stock situation? When do you think that you'll be able to get what you're looking for? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.